Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for you guys today, I have my first... I have my very first... Ulta haul of 2021. Hopefully that took a picture of it. I don't know, but I'll take another one at the end. But anyway, so these are the products I bought today at Ulta. Um, as a disclaimer, I do work there, so I get a discount. There's that. Um, let's go in to this bag first. Okay, as a disclaimer too for this haul video, it's it's like four or five o'clock right now. It's almost dark out. Um, but I filmed a video earlier. This haul, I filmed all of like the hauling aspect almost two or three weeks ago. Um, so when you guys see the video go up. It will have been like three weeks since I purchased it. So I purchased this in December, like right around the middle of December um, because there are still Christmas presents in there. So I'm not breaking my no buy or anything for this. I promise I'm not breaking my no buy. I'm trying to stand firm to my no buy. But I did, I didn't want to do two big hauls like right next to each other either i thought that might be a little bit much so yeah okay bye okay so in that first bag i have mostly skincare and like repeats of certain skincare products um so the first thing i have is the tula skincare brightening treatment vitamin c drops i love tula as a brand in general they really helped one of the products i rebought today helped really clear up my acne quite a bit it really helped to clear up my acne and then vitamin c is really good for like dark spots and stuff so i bought this i'm very excited to try it um, something that I bought multiples of, I bought 10 of these <laughs> because this is like my favorite ordinary product. This is the Ordinary Lactic Acid Serum plus Hyaluronic Acid. Um, I love this. I use this regularly on my skin, so I stocked up on it today. Um, but I, I bought 10 of these. Whoopsies. Don't judge me either. Okay. Okay. So, another thing that I bought that I use quite a bit of from The Ordinary is the Niacinamide 10% plus zinc. Um, I think I bought three or four of these. I use this about half as much as I use the lactic acid. I will use less of this than I do this. Um, but this really helps reduce the appearance of pores, especially after you exfoliate. Um, so, I really like this. So, I bought multiples of that. And then... I also got, I think I got six of these. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Plus B2 Serum. Um, and I'm just gonna use this because after I get done using like my exfoliants and everything, my skin is kind of dry. So I add, I want to add moisture and hydration back to it with this mixed in with like a moisturizer. Uh, so I got this and then let's move on. So the next thing I got is the Tula Skincare Get Toned Pro Glycolic 10% Resurfacing Toner. This is the toner I use that really, really helped clear up my acne and it also helped just make my skin look smoother overall. This is expensive. Tula is expensive in general. Um, but I got this as a sample size one time and I've just been rebuying it ever since. I tried to find something that was a little bit cheaper as an alternative. But nothing works as well for me as what this did. So this is a repurchase and I love this. If you have acne prone skin, I would recommend this. Just be careful. Like if this is new to you, do not use this more than twice a week. I got one of my friends to purchase it and I asked her, I'm like, you have acne prone skin, right? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, then you should try this. It's really, really good to help with acne. Just don't use it more than like two or three times a week. Otherwise, because it is so strong in glycolic acid, you will melt your face off, okay? Not actually, but it will sting really bad. So I love this. And then the next thing I got 
is this is kind of like a repurchase for me not this exact one but i put one of the sugar shrubs sugar scrubs i got in my last video into my secret santa gift so i repurchased one this is the tree hut margarita citron sugar scrub there's that this is what it looks like i want to smell this Ooh, it's like very lemony or limey it smells like lemony it's very citrusy and then the next thing i got were two of the color pop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting sprays i've heard such good things about this and it was almost gone so i bought the last two that we had in stock but i kind of i wanted to try this oh my look at it. yes looking at what i bought now i realize it's mostly skincare so i don't feel as bad about myself as what i was um the next and the last skincare item i believe i got is the tula skincare protect and glow daily sunscreen gel sunscreen spf 50 it protects against uva and uvb um here's this and then this is what it oh my goodness this is actually a decently large bottle like for the size or the price i feel like most sunscreens are half of this size and they're still 20 dollars and this was like 40 or 45 i think does it smell it doesn't really smell okay i'm excited about this there's that and then Something I repurchased for Christmas gifts were the um, aloe socks. And I got two pairs of these. So these are for my mom for Christmas. Because um, she really loves fuzzy socks. Dude, I ordered some stuff on Amazon. And it's not going to be here till after Christmas. And it's all Christmas presents. So I literally have to put a Christmas card that said I owe you in it. And I'm so annoyed. I'm so freaking annoyed right now. Mm. About that. Okay. So the next thing I got, what did I get next? I got so much, not actually, but still, it's a lot. Um, the next thing I got was the Star Wars Mandalorian palette collab from ColourPop because I already have the child and I really enjoy it and I wanted to try this too so i know by the time this video goes up it'll be after this is probably already gone but if you guys want to see a video on this let me know the colors are like really pretty wherever he goes i go okay but yeah plus i wanted like the set i know that's bad but i like to get things in sets or collections i can't help it but there's that let's do let's get hair care out of the way i think and then we can just talk about makeup um so this is the Kristen s style reviving brunette dry shampoo this is the shit this is so good if you guys have got dark hair like i do you need this okay you need this it's not even like you should buy it it is a you need it because the spray is nice it's like a nice spray from one it doesn't leave your hair feeling dusty or crusty or anything and it does absorb the oil really well like i put it in my hair last night because my hair was kind of greasy from yesterday and i knew it was going to be even worse this morning and my hair was not greasy this morning when i woke up and the fact that this does not leave a cast in my hair so good so good this is 14 dollars at alta it is a little bit more expensive than i think the batiste is but it's so so good and it does it oh my goodness i love it i cannot speak highly enough of this so if you guys have got dark hair you should try this absolutely you should try this because i oh and also this if you have fine hair like i do and conditioner weighs you down quite a bit you should try the Kristen s weightless leave-in conditioner or even if you have like dry hair and one conditioner isn't good enough 
this is amazing this is the Kristen s weightless leave-in conditioner this is the shit okay like it's on par with the dry shampoo i love this so much i've gone through almost a whole bottle since i've started working at alta and i've only been working at alta since the end of august okay so 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 good I use this every time I get out of the shower without fail. It makes my hair a lot easier to brush. It makes it shiny without it being greasy looking. Oh my goodness, I cannot speak highly of this product, okay? She gorgeous. We stand. The next hair product I got is actually a shampoo and a conditioner. Um, This is the Kristen S. I've never tried either of these. This is the Kristen S. Deep Clean Clarifying shampoo it says it build up it says it removes build up it's purifying and volumizing shine enhancing mineral detoxifying super sudsy um these are each i think like ten dollars so they're really really affordable but i got this one because i'm hoping it'll help with like build up on my scalp because i do have dandruff pretty bad and then this is the one signature conditioner so i got these two i will let you know how they are after i try them really excited about those um let me what are you that's a blush let's talk about like the pointless purchase i made the really bougie purchase that i made this is the ah uh, thermal or thermali avene thermal spring water like you know how that evian water is in a spray can that's what this is. Did I need this? No, but I'm thinking like maybe if I put this on and then I put on like a hydrating primer, it'll just be like an extra hydrating primer. So I wanna try this. I'm sorry for like the fuzziness on the edges of my video. I don't know, but I got this too. This is kind of expensive. This is like $19. Um, the next things I got are I don't know why I got another one of these because I already have two, but the Urban Decay All Nighting or All Nighting All Nighter Setting Spray, the original one I got, and then I got the All Nighter Ultra Glow Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray because I love a glowy finish on a setting spray, like the Morphe Luminous Finish. It's not really a setting spray; it's like a finishing spray. That's my shit. That is my jam. That is an amazing product. I ten out of ten recommend that. So I want to see if this one is good too. So I got that. This was a gift with purchase. This is the, it's just a benefit bag. Um, but it's like a toiletry bag. So it has like a hook for you to hang in your bathroom if you want to. And then you can put like shampoo, conditioner, whatever in here. So I got this as a gift with purchase. Like I purposely, <laughs> I wanted one when I first saw it and then they were almost gone when I got to her today. I'm, I looked at my boss and I'm like, what do I need to spend to get that? Because benefits gifts usually have got like a spending limit. And she said $30. I'm like, okay, that's like a bronzer. Okay. <laughs> so I did that. Was that like a point? Was that a purchase I needed to make? No, but did I want to try benefit stuff anyway? And that was just a cute gift with purchase that I could throw in there. Absolutely. <sighs> I'm a terrible person. I am so, so awful. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, you guys. So since we know about that, let's just do the Benefit products. I'm slightly nervous about these, to be honest, because Benefit in the past has broken me out before. Like, it gives me the under the skin bumps. But I'm hoping that because my skincare routine is better, this will not be as bad. But I got the Benefit California Blush. I feel like if they were to stop putting the stupid little brushes in there, it would actually work really well. Because, like, look at how deep in the pan that is. You think you're getting a shit ton of product. I mean, I knew I wasn't, but, like, if somebody was trying Benefit and they didn't know, you think you're getting a shit ton of product and, and no, like, half of it is for a brush that you're not going to use. I'm sorry. But it's kind of like a peachy color, which also makes me a little bit nervous just because, like, peaches look... I mean, you can't even see that. So maybe that's a good thing. We shall see. But yeah, I got that. And then I got Hula Light because regular Hula is too dark for my pale, pasty ass. Uh, 
up. But this one might be too light. Holy shit. <laughs> they weren't getting when they said light, were they? Damn. It is like really nice and cool toned. Though, can you even see that? Not really. Um. Maybe it'll be like a pale bronzer. I don't know. We'll figure it out after I have on makeup. Okay. This last Benefit product I bought because of Make Me Up Missa. Like, I had to. I had to. I really, really had to because she talks nonstop about this. This is Cookie from Benefit. Um. Yep. Yep. That's, that's a... You see? Can you see? Shine? Let me turn down the. Do you see? Now? Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> did I need it? No. Did I buy it? Yes, I did. Oops, was it a completely unnecessary purchase? Absolutely! Do we love unnecessary purchases here for me? Yes, I do. I don't know about the rest of you, but I love unnecessary purchases for the most part. Okay, so. I also bought the Kiss Vogish Fantasy Multicolor Nails here. And then the Kiss Gel Fantasy uh, I don't know, there's more nails, but these are like red and these ones kind of reminded me of melting ice cream. So I got those. Those are not for me, those are for a certain 12 year old girl that I know. So I'm not keeping those, I've given up on getting nails. But yeah, um, what do I want to talk about next? So the next couple things I got are from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour. I thought it was 30 hour, whatever. The 24 hour foundation in the shade 110 porcelain right here. And then I have the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 10. And in the shade 45. So this one is going to be like an actual concealer for me. And then I got this one to use as like a cream contour or a cream bronzer type situation. Well, there's that. And then I got this foundation that is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. I've never tried this before. The only thing from Urban Decay I've ever tried is I have one of their lipsticks I got as gratis. I have the setting spray and the palette, so I've never tried any of their complexion products and I'm very excited about that. Ooh, this is interesting packaging. It's like plastic, but I feel like for the price it should be glass because like this is, it's interesting pack packaging, but it's like lightweight too. So I don't know how I feel about that. Um, But yeah, this is the shade color I got. It should be like an okay match I think it's 10 WY so 10 warm yellow is what I'm assuming that means um and then I got I got another foundation this one I've been wanting to try since I saw it on TikTok and I, it was just never in stock this is the KVD good apple foundation balm in the shade light 10 light 010 so this went viral on TikTok last year. This like saved KVD in my opinion. Because otherwise I feel like they would have gone under. But I know this was sold out for months. Like literal months. This might actually be too dark. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I could just return it and get a different one. But I don't like returning things. It takes too much effort. I mean, granted, I work there, so it shouldn't be that bad. But, like, I don't want to return it. I just want it to be the correct shade. So maybe we'll work on it. I don't know. Um, I also got a Laura Mercier Velour Puff because I want to see if this will work better 
for under my eyes than what my brush does, but I got this. And then I also got the, I wanted to get the hourglass powder, um, but somebody recommended this one instead to me. She's, and her name, she works for like, I'm not going to say her name, I just thought about that. But she's our benefit lady, like she's the arch expert. She said she really likes the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. So I got that in the translucent shade. I was really worried that this was going to be a too dark of a color. Because I couldn't see on here where it said translucent. Um, it just says loose setting powder. It doesn't say translucent anywhere. But yeah. Um, and then last two things, you guys. Only two more things are from MAC. Because I am a MAC girl. I love MAC. I think MAC is worth it. 1000%. This is the Mineralize Blush in the shade Sweet Enough. And this is going to be like a very pale blush on me. Like it's... Jesus. Do you open? Yes, you do. But like, it's like a pinky rose, dusty rose kind of color. It's going to be really pretty on me, I think. So I got that. And then the last product I got is an eyeshadow palette. I know, I'm so proud of the fact that I only bought two eyeshadow palettes. And I say only because I got like 40 different things of skincare. Um, whoopsies. This is the MAC Art Library in Nude Model. I've never tried MAC's eyeshadows before. But if they're anything like their complexion products are, this is going to be amazing. Let me tell you. And it has a mirror and that makes me so happy. But I can tell you I'm already disappointed with it a little bit. Because the names are not on the front. Which I know is like not that big a deal. But I don't appreciate that. But that's kind of what it looks like. It's a very neutral palette. And it's washed out on the camera. But like this color is almost black. And then there's like a nice ratio of shimmers to mattes. So I'm excited about this. I'm very excited about this oh my god okay but if you guys want to see a video on anything that i purchased let me know down in the comments below i would very much greatly appreciate it i'm actively struggling to put this back in the packaging right now um <laughs> but yeah that was all for you guys today i hope you enjoyed it if you did please do not forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up i'd very much greatly appreciate it and with that being said i will see you all hopefully with makeup on and the next one bye